Before I get started, my hair looks crazy. I'll explain why in a moment. So I filmed an intro on Friday. And the thing is, is I've been wanting to change my hair color. I've just been kind of over the blonde. It's just, it's so, so effing hard to keep up with. Um, I love blonde hair, it's beautiful. Like I love it on me, I, I, I just love it. And it's beautiful. So many people have the ashy blonde hair and I seriously love it. But my hair is almost black naturally and it's just so hard for me to keep up with. Um, I was trying the grown out look and I just didn't like the harsh transition because my hair is almost black. And to an ashy, almost white blonde hair, I just didn't like it. Um, I was just, I'm just itching for something else. If you, if, if you have known me for years, I know some of my friends watch me, they know, they will gladly vouch that I'm somebody that likes, I used to change my hair color up every few months. Um, I'm a little stuffy today too, but, um, but I've been blonde for almost two years. I've put some semi perf like, uh, demi colors in my hair, fun colors in my hair that wash out over a few washes. And that's all fun and games, and I know I said, like, I'm gonna stay blonde because I can do that and I like to change, but I'm just so over the process of touching it up, doing my roots. I literally have to do my roots twice because if I let them grow out too much, the initial root growth isn't that hard, the one on my roots, but if I let it grow out for like six weeks, six to eight weeks instead of like four weeks, um, it's just really hard to do because my roots will turn white like I need them to, but then it'll have a band of orange. Um, this is after a second bleach, and like you can still see the band thing right there. Um, that's after bleaching it twice, and I'm just, I want to grow out my hair a tiny bit, like an inch. I love my hair short, I get it cut every eight weeks, but I'm just kind of like, I just want it healthy, and I'm tired of damaging it and bleaching it and it's just a process a process so I'm gonna change it up and I made an intro on Friday because I was originally gonna go rose gold because we're getting family pictures this coming weekend and I didn't want to make a drastic change before family pictures but I decided I'm itching for this big change and I'm getting a haircut Saturday before our family pictures so what better way like to freshen up a haircut then with a new color and then new family pictures new me right like that's my philosophy right now so i'm just gonna freaking wing it and i'm just gonna do it and you guys are gonna stay with me in the process um, i'm not gonna tell you my hair color yet stay with me and i hope that it turns out okay i'm super nervous i don't know why because it is kind of i've been blocked for literally two years almost two years so this is just a big change for me but i'm ready for it i'm ready for less maintenance I do my hair myself. Again, if you watch me, you would know. I'm not a beautician or anything. I just have friends. Like, I've been doing my own hair for several, several years. I do my daughter's hair, I do my friend's hair, I do my mom's hair. And I have several of friends that are beauticians and they have like walked me through the process and talked me through things. Um, and I always just kind of like wing it with my hair in hopes that it turns out. Um, so hopefully, freaking hoping, not that I would that it turns out today. I'm like super nervous, but super excited for this change. So, okay guys, so this is the color I picked up. It's Redken 6RR, I believe. Yes, Redken 6RR, it is red. Um, I was a little nervous to go like this. Shade of red only because my hair is so white. Um, I didn't want it to be like out there. So I'm gonna mix it with a little like chocolate brown um, argan oil hair color. Just a little bit of this just to like tone down the redness um, this first time because my hair is so blonde, I feel like it's going to grab all the pigment from the red right away. Um, and I do want it to be a pretty bright red, but not over dramatic red. And I'm gonna mix it with 20 developer. Okay guys, I am a person that I don't like to measure. I just kind of mix. I just kind of go with flow and 
this one you are supposed to mix one part of the color and the two parts of the developer and then this one you're supposed to do half and half. So this one is the light brown and then this is the red and then I'm just going to mix the developer and then make sure it's a little orange but I just got it applied and it's leaving about 45 minutes so I will I'll check it in with you guys in 45 minutes. Fingers crossed it turns out okay. All right guys, so it's been in for a little bit. I got about 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. It's definitely darkened up. It's not, that I was worried I was gonna say like that orangey color and I was like, oh shit. Um, and then the hubby got like home when I was putting in my hair and he's like, orange, huh? Which he doesn't give a shit what I do to the hair. He, doesn't care. He says he likes whatever, so it is what it is. He's never much help when I ask him, but yeah, I, it's darkening up some, so I'm excited about that. And it's all over my ear, so that'll be fun to get off. But, so nervous, guys. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, it's just hair, and if you want to change your hair, then just freaking do it. Just wing it, do it. You wanna go blonde, go blonde. You only live once. You wanna go red, go red. YOLO, I mean. Just do whatever the hell you wanna do. Don't let a man or a woman tell you what not to do. It's your hair, honey, do what you want. And like I said, you only live once. Like if you just assume that you don't look good blonde, well then try it. You're not gonna know until you try it. You assume that you don't look good red, just try it. There's so many different shades of blonde, so many different shades of red. I personally thought I would never look good all blonde and I loved it, but time for change in the world. So, yeah. I'm gonna rinse this out in a few minutes. I'm gonna deep condition it. I'm not gonna shampoo it today because I just want the color to set. Um, and it's actually not necessarily good to shampoo your hair and my hair is getting cut in three days so I'm just gonna deep condition it today and not shampoo it. So stay tuned. I will show you guys once it's rinsed out. Super nervous and excited to see it rinse out. Ugh. Okay guys, so this is the end result. I am so happy with it. Like I was so super, super, super nervous when I first put it on. It looked really orange, but I don't know. I just love red hair. Love it. Like I am so obsessed with it. I'm so happy I did it. Impulse choice or not, like I'm very glad I did it. I've been feeling and missing my red hair, so super happy with it. And I just felt like like the blonde hair looked good with my skin complexion. Mind you, like I need a self tan. I'm super pasty right now. It is fall time in Indiana and cold out, but um, I just felt like with my eyes, my eyes are actually green, which you can see now. And when it, my hair was blonde, it just drug, them, drug the hair color and my eye color out. And I just, yeah, it just didn't make my eyes pop versus red. It makes my eyes freaking pop. Like I am so excited, so excited. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything I use down below. And like I said, if you want to change your hair color, girl, just do it. Like, life is too short. It's just hair. You can change it whenever you want. Top it. Change your hair color. Whatever. Just, just do it. Just do it. YOLO. You only live once. Who cares what anybody else thinks or says? It's your hair. Just do it. Alright, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.